Welcome back to another daily video from 88 Rotors Off-Road and welcome back to our shop. Today's video is going to be for you Tundra lovers and Tundra owners. It's going to be a 2018 cement gray Tundra here that we're working on and later on another 2019 also cement gray that we'll be working on. This one's going to go with our Fox setup, Camberg upper control arms, new wheels and tires, amp steps and some other goodies. Keep on watching to see what we do to this one and the next. For those of you that cringe when we talk about doing a body mount chop and prefer not to do it, this setup is for you. We're going to be throwing on some Fox 2.5 IFP front coilovers, 2.0 IFP rear shocks, and no lift. We're going to be installing some 18x9, positive 25 method NVs in a matte black finish, and we're wrapping those up in a 295 18 You can see the needle Terra Grappler G2s that we're installing in the 295-70-18 size. 295-70-18 equates to a 34 and a quarter inch diameter with about an 11.6 inch width. With this setup, you can clear without a body mount chop. All you have to do is remove the front mud flaps, the one by the body mount and the one on the front bumper. Here's a closer look at the rear Fox 2.0 IFPs. Next Tundra is going to get a set of these though. These are 35s, Toyo Open Country RTs in a 35 12 and a half. These are the Fuel Vapor wheels in an 18 by 9 with a positive 20 offset. To the first Tundra, here's the Fox setup in the front with camber tubular uniball upper control arms that we're installing. As our techs finished the suspension install on this one, our wheel and tire techs already mounted the wheels and tires. They're about to put them onto the vehicle now. ADA Rotors is located in the city of South Omani, which is about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. If you're interested in getting some work done by us, feel free to either give us a call during regular business hours or shoot us an email over to sales at 88rotors.com. All of our contact information can also be found in the description below. We hope that you're enjoying the video so far, and if you do so, please find time to just click on that thumbs up and give us a like. It definitely makes a big difference for our channel and this video itself. And of course, it encourages us to make more videos like this for your viewing pleasure. So let's do a poll guys, what's everybody's take on camper shells? I've been seeing that it's a trend going around lately for these and I'm starting to like them myself. But what do you guys think? Do you like the camper shell or no? Drop a comment down below and let us know and give us the reason why.
Next up is this 2019 Tundra. This one's also in cement gray that we're doing a body mount chop on to clear 35s. 2018 is now down on the ground and ready to get the amp steps installed. This 2019 Tundra is going to start off getting its BMC. Here you can see our tech working on the amp research steps, installing them, wiring them up, and installing the LED lights on them as well. I'd hate to assume that everyone knows what these are, but for those that don't, amp research steps are electric side steps. We wire them in so that when you open the doors, they go down, and when you close the doors, they retract back up. There it is, this 2018 project is now done. We're gonna take it out for a quick test drive and then deliver it back to the customer. Like what you see here but want to see more? We post daily on our other social media platforms such as Instagram. Check us out at instagram.com forward slash 88 rotors or instagram.com forward slash 88 rotors off road. Or you can simply search us up if you have the app at 88 rotors or at 88 rotors off road. We hope that you're enjoying the video so far, and if you do so, please find time to just click on that thumbs up and give us a like. It definitely makes a big difference for our channel and this video itself. And of course, it encourages us to make more videos like this for your viewing pleasure. Now that the body mount chop is done, this one's going up on the rack for the lift, wheels, and tires to be installed. And if you want to see a more detailed video of the body mount chop that we do to clear the 35s, feel free to check in the description below and click on one of the links. We have two videos that we've made that shows details of how we do our body mount chop and what it does for the vehicle. You can see in this shot right here that we're installing the 2 inch rear lift shackles. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the stock Bilsteins and the new Kings that we're installing. And these right here are the Camberg Tubular Uniball Upper Control Arms that we'll be installing. And as a friendly reminder, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Make sure you also click on that notification bell. That way you get notified every single time we post a new daily video. Here you can see the Kings installed and the Camberg Tubular Uniball Upper Control Arms are already installed as well. The next thing we have to do is mount up the reservoir and we'll be done with the front end suspension.
And that pretty much wraps it up for today's Tundra video. Thank you very much for viewing guys. We hope you subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell. That way you get notified tomorrow when we post our next daily video. Until then, take care guys and have a great one.